Welcome back, everybody. I thought I would try and get in a couple of hearts with you guys, because guess what's coming soon? It, good old Valentine's Day. Love day. <laughs> uh, that's when cupids come out with little arrows and naked bodies, and they shoot people and make them fall in love. <laughs> Does anyone else know the story of the Cupid? Because I don't really know where it came from. And maybe I should have done my research first, but I'm just here to make things pretty. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I've got a couple of Lake Superior stones here. I'm just going to show you a couple. Um, I'm going to paint the surface of the stone black with matte black paint, uh, black acrylic paint. It's always easier to start off with a black surface. Um, not easier, but it looks better to use a black surface if you're going to add metallic watercolors. You guys know I'm obsessed with watercolors now. Uh, it just does magical things to the backgrounds of my stones. Um, not to mention, you can also paint with watercolors and make designs, and they actually stay put. I've had a lot of people ask me how I stop the watercolors from running uh, with the resin. I have not experienced running in any way. Um, what I, where I put my watercolor, it seems to stay put. Um, the resin doesn't drag it down to the bottom of the rock at all. So I'm not really sure what would do that unless you're spraying it with something. Um maybe the spray will cause it to move around or run down, but the resin has not done that for me. So, and I use art resins. If you haven't seen my resin tutorials, please check them out in my video list. And they're also uh, in the description of this video. Um, so what I've done is I've ordered some pigments from Yuli Pigments on Etsy and I made my own watercolors and I'm going to use a couple of these today and a couple of her paint dots which is the same as my paint buttons, um, only they're not Yuli pigments. Um, they're pigments from everywhere. <laughs> um, for anyone who wants me to make the binder in a tutorial in order to, so that you can make your own uh, watercolors, please let me know in the comments. If I get enough people um, asking for something, then I do end up making a tutorial for it. So I don't mind one bit. So what I'm doing is I'm just making heart shape. And if you try not to use too much water, you can actually keep the shape the way it is. And some of the pink is running into the purple and that's okay. Like I don't mind that. It kind of makes it look blended. Um, I do kind of want to blend the colors once I reach a different color. Um, I started with like a light pink and then a purple, and then a blue, and then I'm gonna use a green. And basically, I'm just trying to not use too much water. Um, with the water brush that I'm using, I actually don't have any water in it, because I find that too much water comes out, uh, and it ends up running down the sides of my rocks, um, and I don't want it to. So be careful, keep an eye on where your water watercolor is going because it's very unpredictable sometimes and especially on stones because they're not a flat surface they're rounded so you have a hard time keeping all that sparkle uh where you want it so you have to be careful i do tend to like uh blow a fan on it to dry it quicker or i'm blowing on it the whole time i'm working with it <laughs> um but yeah, you let it dry and then just use a small amount of water. That way it doesn't float away on you. So you can see uh, some of the colors are blending together and that's okay. I'm going to try and blend them more. Um, and you can also give it a little spritz of water. Um, I use a mister, so but I keep it like way, way, way above my rock. I don't want too much water. So I just give it a quick mist with my mister from way above um, and it kind of blends the colors together 
when you do that. But of course, if you're too close, you're just going to make all your colors run and you might not see your heart anymore or the shape that you've put on there. You might not see it anymore. So you can see I've used this retro series dot card from Yuli Watercolors. I've used it a lot. I've made a lot of rocks. Uh, same goes for my dots in my shop, my paint buttons, I call them. Um, they're bigger and flatter, uh, probably because I'm new and I don't know what I'm doing with paint. I'm still working on it, still learning, um, still progressing. Um, but my, my dots are not dots, they're buttons. And they're big and, yeah, they're beautiful. They're big and beautiful. <laughs> so if you do purchase my dots in my Etsy shop, let me know what you've made with them. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're going to make some of these hearts. Um, I'm going to be adding more dots into, not dots, buttons, because they're big and beautiful. Um, they're going into my shop soon, as well as some beautiful rocks that I've painted. Um, but what I'm doing with this one is I'm just kind of going through the colors of the rainbow on this card. Um little bit of water activates the the dots or buttons and then off you go to the races look at that beautiful green it's just shimmering and sizzling on there um, and these work great on the handmade stones from happy dotting company um, if you've bought the molds from happy dotting company and you've made your own stones you can do this too even the heart-shaped ones. <laughs> uh, make sure you do use my discount code Rachel's Rocks Canada if you do purchase anything from Happy Dotting Company. I use Ultra Cal 30. If you are leery and you don't have stones available to you, but you'd like to learn a little bit more, take a look at my video. And then uh, the best thing to do is just take the plunge because having... Uh, the ability to make your own stones instead of trying to find them everywhere. It's really stressful, especially if you're really getting into this and you're gifting or hiding a lot of stones or or selling them even. Um, you want to make sure that you have enough stuff, enough rocks to paint. So I've done three different ones. I just showed you basically how to do the heart shape, not to use too much water on my Look at that. My camera does not want to focus. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm now giving each one a border. Um, you saw me do the heart shape, not using too much water. Um, I did two hearts on one stone, and you're going to see that a little bit later. Uh, same thing. Just try not to use too much water so that the hearts don't blend together and form into some weird shape that you didn't want. Um, just be careful. And if you get real daring, you can put three hearts or four. Um, just be careful and you will be just fine. So this one has two. You can't really see the other one very well, um, but it does have a nice heart. Both of them are, they start at green, then they go to teal, purple, then red. Uh, red going around the whole thing. And now I'm giving it a nice little border using dots of gold. The first one that I did a border, it was just a line. So I just drew a line around the edge where the paint meets the natural stone. Uh, and another one you're going to see, I do a dial, uh, a dial frame where um, there's a nice frame and then I do like pinstriping in it. I'm going to do that on the next one. So same stuff you, you've seen me do before. Um, but the nice thing is, is that you can do whatever shape you want. So if you want to do like a four leaf clover um, or a lucky clover, whatever people call them, I've been corrected over everything that I've said. So uh, I call it a lucky clover or four leaf clover. Uh, you call it what you want, but you can do that as well um, and keep that shape but you have to use less water. The more water you use, the more unpredictable your shimmery metallic paint will be, and it'll be upsetting. <laughs> I promise. I promise it will be upsetting because it will not go where you want it to, and it will not look how you wanted it to look. So just be careful with the amount of water and use distilled water because it's really the best for your uh, paint. Um, so try to use distilled water whenever you're painting. Now I'm going around with a fine line of gold. 
You don't have to use gold. You can use silver. You can use whatever metallic color you want. It's just to make a border. And if you don't want a border, you don't have to have one either. <laughs> it's completely up to you. I am here to inspire for free. I should sing for you. <laughs> Hit the like button if you want me to sing. I do have some singing videos on here, um, but I'm so darn shy. I never, I never sing in front of anybody. Um, I actually used to tell people to look away, look away when I was singing. Um, but I won my first karaoke contest ever when I was 16. Was I 16 or 15? And it was singing, I will always love you by Whitney Houston. And, um, yeah. I've been singing my whole life, self-taught, just like my painting. <laughs> um, got made fun of by family. Got told to be quiet a lot by family, but I kept singing. And I still love to sing, but I think I'm too shy. <laughs> um, I, I really want my son to play the piano and I sing. So if he'll do that for me, then I'll put my face on camera <laughs> to, to do it. Um, so I've done a nice little dial around. It's not a round rock. It's a funky shaped rock, um, but uh, it still looks nice with a, a dial. It, it doesn't really matter what shape you use. We are really just concentrating on that heart shape, right? <laughs> because the love day is coming and we want to leave beautiful gifts for people uh, to find or, or to buy or to gift. Um, we just want to make the world a little more beautiful right now. How about that? I don't have a problem with that. So leave in the comments uh, what you think of this one, what you think of metallic watercolors, um, and what do you want to see next? I will be doing a flower for February, for the month of February. Um, I'm just making sure everything has a black outline now. So there is a gold one here. You can't really see it, um, but I'm underlining the gold with black. So I'm kind of just separating it from the natural stone color. Once again, it's optional. <laughs> um, now, let me know what you want to see in February besides the February flower. Let me know. I'm thinking about doing some ballerina slippers, but if you guys haven't seen my other shoes before, uh, check out Rachel's Rocks shoes. Just just search that if you don't want to go through my entire video list of over 240 some odd videos. <laughs> um, just look up Rachel's Rocks shoes and it'll show you which ones. I have some really cute ones, I promise. So these are ready for a resin bath, but while they're bathing, I'm going to show you something at my desk. It, isn't this awesome? This is a really cool... Um, box and I think it's a very special box. Special artists have uh, made these boxes for Vistaprint, I believe. Um, I probably should have read the uh, letter that I got <laughs> because now I don't even know what to say about this. I just think it's really cool that artists have created these really cool boxes for um, business cards to come in and it's very special. So I just wanted to thank Vistaprint and the artists that created these fancy boxes. Um, these are what's at my desk <laughs> today anyway. These are my new business cards and they feel like suede. They feel so soft. My son has this problem with rubbing things on his cheeks when they're really soft. <laughs> Not my young son, my, my, my older son, who's 17. He always, for some reason, has to put things on his cheek when it's soft. So he automatically put my business card up to his cheek. And I was like, yep, it feels like suede. <laughs> So if you order anything from me in uh, the next little while, you'll be receiving a piece of my artwork along with your order and it'll feel like suede. <laughs> you may want to even put it on your cheek. <laughs> so this one you guys have seen before I showed it to you in my last tutorial, um, but it's part of the group. So I thought I would show it to you again. Um, it's really simple, just very simple. This one has got the two, two hearts on there. 
brightly colored, very simple, very, very simple. And you can see that that metallic watercolor kind of like soaks into all the divots and and special unique spots of the rock. And it looks fantastic when it's resined. Um, this looks beautiful too. This rock was very smooth. And uh, yeah, the heart shape stayed really well on that one. Um, everything's all shiny and glisteny. I really like this one because the stone is so perfect. And it just, I love Lake Superior stones. They make my heart smile. <laughs> So guys, I'm going to be putting some of these in my shop along with some other stuff and some paint buttons very soon. Keep an eye out. Um, as usual, I love you guys. I love you this much, this much. I will be back very soon. Keep painting and don't forget to hit the like button.